I am a millionaire from Nigeria and I have teamed up with other group of millionaires from around the world to bring this awful scandemic to an abrupt end within just a few short weeks from now. Getting micro sheet because of a global deception that shut down the entire world in 2020 won't benefit the rich and it most certainly will not benefit the poor either. Rich and poor alike, we must come together to expose all of the lies associated with this grand deception, leading humanity into <clears throat> the horror of uh, a transhuman society and stop this evil agenda from destroying the human race. We have no other choice but to unite because the few most powerful people have set the cause for our destruction so that they could play God. But these are not God, and through our unification, we will defeat this evil group of men and justice will prevail. We must unite now. They have given us no other choice. If not, they will pick us off one by one until no resistance to their evil plans remains and humanity goes down the road. Humanity goes down into the night and never returns. But Know You Lover is a website dedicated to uniting humanity so that we can get back to the real normal and forget about the new abnormal. As millionaires, we will do our part. We will keep this series of Zoom meetings running 24 hours a day and seven days a week. All you have to do is sign people up for free and bring them here to these ongoing meetings and connect with us. We can offer each of you some time and even one-on-one -on -one time. We have the roadmap to wealth and prosperity. All you have to do is ask and we will share what we know that works to lift anyone off financially. Even the poorest person of the world in the world could be lifted out of that poverty. And so I welcome you to our Know You Lover training. Today is September 7th, 2020. And according to the uh, time of our website server, it is 12 a.m. We have come together today to celebrate you as an individual. And by the end of this training today, you will be singing a new song. Here we recognize that you each were born free. Yes, you have free will, the power to choose, and so you got to sing. When you came out of your mother's womb, you had two legs, which give you the right to travel. Also, you came out with a mouth and the right to speak, 
So you got a sin. You are unique. No two even have identical fingerprint. And that makes you priceless and beautiful. So celebrate that by singing. While the world may have forgotten how valuable you are as a unique individual, we have come here today <clears throat> to celebrate how valuable you are and how much each of us need you. Lord, your lover was created to empower you to fully secure your right to express yourself without fear of being harmed for doing so. All of us are unknown to each other, with perhaps the exception of the person that invited you to join or your lover. This allows each of our unique ideas to be shared with each other without prejudice. We also come together with the intent to unite with one another in the spirit of love. This is a revolution. And isn't it interesting that when the word revolution is spelled backward, it contains within it the word love. No, it you love. It's love that binds us together. Our personal freedom matters, and we can support each other in mutual benefit, freedom for all. Sometimes lies are so forceful that they compare people to believe in them. You may be new to this social media platform and may believe the lies about COVID-19. You may not be ready to accept that COVID-19 is a scandemic designed to rob humanity of its right to be free. However, our blog shares documentations to help you reason out the truth. And you may need to suspend your current beliefs about COVID-19 long enough to see the other point of view. Keep an open mind and use some critical thinking when it comes to this whole thing. They, talking about the comedy of 300, locked down the whole world over this pandemic. So, this has already impacted all of us. It has seriously dis disrupted important supply chains, such as food and energy. Was this response to COVID-19 necessary? Because humanity as a whole, is paying for this cost or the cost of this severe response. Right. This is a scripted monologue 
And uh, but I promise you that after I give you a little tour of our website, we will be ha we will have a Q and A session. Not number question and answer. We want you to pick up too and share your thoughts too. We are interested in what you have to say. And as a host of this training, I will do my best to maintain the spirit of love within this meeting. This social media platform gives you the tools to build up your influence in the world. That way more people can benefit from what you have to give to others. It also will allow each of us to group together and develop organizations that can make a difference in the world. The more you use the tools on this website, the more powerful you become within the world. Some want to be followers while others want to become leaders. We need both in this world to operate effectively. So at this point, I'm going to share my screen with you. All right. When you log in to know you love right, you land on the home page and you'll be welcomed by a list of uh, influencers. The first thing to do is to send contact requests to all the influencers listed here. I've already done that, and that is why you're not sh seeing any chat icon on my list of influencers. This is what a chat icon looks like. To appear right here. Then you click on it to ask you request contact. Once you click on request contact, the chat icon disappears. Influencers are both friendly and helpful. They can assist you in developing your own influence on this website. The truth is, the more influence you have, the more you get what you want, what you want out of this world. So this number here, this number, this number shows how many an influencer could reach? How many people an influencer could reach? So be sure to connect with, with them, <clears throat> with all of them on the list, and you'll be glad you did. So to officially become a Noidu Lover influencer, then you have to be this timer here. this timer here you need to beat this timer here and you can see your influence status at the bottom of the page all right okay so all you need to do is sign people up. To sign people up, this is the short video that they must watch, send it to them, let them watch it, and let them see what this platform offers them.
to protect each other and if you want to chat with us you can you can speak freely because we won't know who you are and you won't know who we are either this allows ideas to flow freely without fear of being harmed personally we hope you are interested in what other smart people think and we're excited to hear what you think ask for the link and invitation code now if you're ready all right it is how simple the invitation is. And so, let me show you this. All you need to do is to click on the in uh, the youtube link here then you take it to copy it and take it to youtube or wherever let me use youtube now uh, facebook facebook you go to messenger all right Then you click on the search messenger. Then you paste it here like this. Paste it and post. Then come back to know your lover. Then go to invite code. This is the invite code icon. Say copy code and close. Then come back here. Back here, paste it and send, and that's all. It's as simple as that. You have invited, okay? Then paste it here, then send. So instead of me going back to know your lover to copy the link, I just highlight it here from the one I have sent already. And then I copy. All right. And paste it here. And I'll copy this one. Then come here, paste it twice. Then I'll paste this one. Then I'll highlight the two together and then cut it all right then i'll come here and search <clears throat> all right then i'll paste here the two will go at the same time both the youtube link and the invite code will go together wow right very simple very simple now come here and search Paste, send. Now go back here and search. Paste, 
send. Search. Paste. Send. Paste. Send. Paste it here and send. Let me go back here and search. Yeah. Set. All right, I've sent to this one. All right, go back there. Then search. Send. Search. Paste here, send and invite.
Sen Sen? Okay. First, no. Sun. So, this is how simple it is to invite friends to join you on Noidy Lover. Right. I think at this point we need to go back to Noidy Lover and explore the available tools there and how to take advantage of them all right let's go to now you never let me see this is the profile page if you are having a hard time invite uh, remembering your password place an email here which is optional, all right? For those that forget things, this, for the purpose of gold password only, this website respect your privacy. I will not spam you or share your email with any third party, all right? So you can also put a pin near the location where you live. I'm going to demonstrate that by clicking on reset location. All right. And then my location will become blank now. And I'll go to the map of Africa, my continent. And then I'll zoom in near where I live and place a pin there and then click on save changes very simple all right and then this is the home page this is the blog icon can you see several powerful information are here for you what are the doctors saying about uh, the covid19 can you see very powerful information available to you here. Hmm. Right. It's a better listing to these doctors. Okay, click continue reading. Hmm. Right. You hear this? <laughs> The largest. Largest board of medical. Problems like. Mm -hmm. One of the most important yeah. videos I've made, and one of the hardest. Mm -hmm. Frankly, it's been a very difficult decision to make whether I even wanted to do it. Less than a week ago, I was notified by the board of medical practice in Minnesota that I was being investigated because of public statements I had made. 
this is two allegations. They said, I've been spreading misinformation as to the completion of death certificates on a news program, which happened to take place on April 7th. And you could find that one. It was with Chris Berg, if you wanted to. And the other allegation was that I provided reckless advice in my willingness to compare COVID-19 and the flu. When I got this letter, I was terrified. And quite frankly, I leaned into the comfort and wisdom of my family to help them, let them walk me and talk me off the cliff. I got it if this could happen to me. My view is it could happen to every, anybody. I mean, I've been a family doctor for 40 years. I work hard. I work my patients. I do hospital. I'm a medical director. I've held staff positions in hospitals to help make things work better. I've been in the Senate for four years and I've learned a lot. I've never had anything like this happen. Shoot about five years ago, I was named the Minnesota Family Doctor of the Year in Minnesota. And I did this because a couple of people complained. And I don't get to know who those people are. I don't know if they're routinely in a political camp, if they're activists. I've gone online and looked at what it takes to complete them complaint that the Board of Medical Practice has to follow up on. It's a one-page deal. You can say what you want. You could be a huge donor for the other party, and I wouldn't get to know what I wouldn't get to know. You live in my district. I don't, I don't get to know anything. I checked. So here I am. I've spent the better part of the last six days preparing a response. I understand how important the work is that the Board of Medical Practice does. I mean, Physicians do screw up. Two of the big areas where physicians mess up is inappropriate sexual behavior, inappropriate self-medicating, certainly with opiates. But this is an odd position for me to be in. And I am just stunned. But I should have seen it coming because I saw the threats on social media. I've seen it for the last two or three months. I've seen them come from physicians. I've seen them come from people in all walk of life they didn't agree with me. They didn't like it, that I was trying to provide some context for the flu, for COVID-19. We've had some 35, 40,000 cases of COVID-19 in Minnesota thus far. According to the Department of Health people, that might translate into 10 times that many. And if it does translate into 10 times that many, that's 350,000 cases. But in 2018, we had more than a half a million Minnesotans with the flu. When I say that, Am I recklessly giving you advice regarding COVID-19 and the flu? Dr. Anthony Fauci has come out and compared them all the time. Dr. Mike Osterholm has. In terms of the death certificates, on April 3rd, I got an email from the Department of Health that said very clearly that we should report COVID-19 on death certificates if it is assumed to have caused or contributed. Well, that's not how we do death certificates. The official ICD-10 coding for April 1st, 2020 through September 30th, 2020, during the time frame in question, says this. If the provider documents suspected, possible, probable, or inconclusive COVID-19, do not assign U07.1, which is COVID-19 disease. It says assign a code the Department of Health, a few days later, comes out with a clarification. And then a few weeks later, they come out with another clarification. And I appreciate it. The fact of the matter is, I'm proud of the Department of Health in Minnesota for saying we are not going to list non confirmed cases as deaths in Minnesota. We are going to put an asterisk by them and we'll follow up on those later. But that's not what Pennsylvania was doing. That's why they had to subtract 200 patients from their COVID 19 death count. Colorado did the same thing. New York went the other direction. New York said, we're having more deaths in a certain period than we normally have, so those deaths must be COVID-19. We just didn't pick them up. So never mind the testing. We're adding 3,700 to our total, and well, that does increase our total by 50%. So I'm in a position where I have to explain that I wasn't spreading this information. And I'm not being reckless when I talk about COVID-19 and the influence of both being single-stranded RNA viruses that are respiratory in nature with similar symptoms 
document that I put together for the Board of Medical Practice. And let me be clear. They do important work, and I'm going to fully cooperate with them. I also have some 70 pages of attachments. And in the attachments, I've got the Pennsylvania Department of Health slashing their numbers by 201. I've got the Department of Health in Illinois. One of the directors says that just because we put COVID-19 down on the death certificate is cause of death, that doesn't mean the patient died of COVID-19. She said that. Dr. Fauci, when he talks about influenza, he was the lead article in this New England Journal article. And he said this, if one assumes that the number of asymptomatic or minimally symptomatic cases for COVID-19 is several times as high as the number of reported cases, the case fatality rate may be considerably less than 1%. This suggests that the overall clinical consequences of COVID-19 may ultimately be more akin to those of a severe seasonal influenza. Thus, Dr. Fauci, and oh, by the way, one of the contributing authors was Dr. Robert Redfield, the head of the CDC. Dr. Ostrom is a well-regarded epidemiologist, and he was saying this in the, in the middle of March. He said, the flu has become a pandemic more than once it's killed millions of people. It still exists today. Unfortunately, we now have on our hands something else, but it's caused by coronavirus, which is acting very much like influenza. Folks, do I feel targeted? Yeah, I do. Do I know who my accusers are? No, I don't get to know. Could I be disciplined by the Board of Medical Practice? Well, sure I can. Those two allegations are investigating. If I have been spreading this information, then what about Governor Walls and the Department of Health? Right around March 1st, we had a Department of Health memo that talked about the purpose of, if you will, some of the measures that we'd be taking to dampen, delay, and decrease the peak to allow the accumulation of PPE and make sure that our hospital capacity weren't being overwhelmed. In that memo, they say what the effective measures are, cover your mouth, don't go out if you have co-op or fever, avoid touching your face, your eyes or mouth, cover your mouth if you cough, wash your hands frequently, minimize outings, socially distance. But what did they say were not effective measures? They said wearing masks is not effective, taking antibiotics is not effective. Months later, Governor Walls comes out, talks about 74,000 Minnesotans dying. Later on, he went back to 29,000, and right around then, I put a different video out saying just the facts. And I said, I'm not buying 74,000 Minnesotans dying, I'm not buying 29,000. And then this one came out a month later, right around May 1st. This is a model that they're using. And it says on here, Minnesotans model projects nearly 1,000 deaths a day in mid-July. Well, folks, that's next week. So far, we have less than right around 1500 of which all but 300 of them have occurred in people in long-term care facilities in large part because the department of health participated in decisions that put people with active COVID 19 disease in the nursing homes and i'm spreading this information of course i am i don't know what to tell you i just know this is wrong We're in a bad place. My wife asked me the other day, Scott, why did 911 pull us together as Americans so much? And why is COVID-19 breaking us apart? I think physicians are part to, part to blame. Scientists are. We've become so darn political. Physicians and scientists in the past are supposed to be above the free. They're not. I have this odd set of hats I'm wearing because I'm the Vice Chair of the Health and Human Services Committee in the Senate, and I'm involved in policy discussions and involved in bills that deal with providing relief for COVID-19. And on the other hand, I've been a physician in the trenches for 35 years. So I try to connect the dots. I don't try to present myself to be something 
I'm not an infectious disease doctor, but I take care of infectious disease every day. I just want to leave you with a couple of questions you can maybe ask yourself. Do we think it's okay for physicians to certify a death certificate that someone died of COVID-19? Okay. Even if there was never a COVID-19 positive test of pain. Even if there was never a COVID-19 test done. Even if a COVID-19 test hadn't even been considered. And maybe the worst even if, even if the family had no clue that the death certificate they received for their loved one was going to say COVID-19. What do we want to be doing there? In Minnesota, I think the Department of Health is taking care of business. Those are important questions. I'm sure there are naysayers out there that think that I'm getting exactly what I deserve. Fine. If it can happen to me, I think, frankly, that it could happen to anybody. It feels ugly. It feels like some of the people that disagree with me don't want to have a conversation. I've asked many of you to have conversations and you've not been interested. So, reckless advice regarding comparisons between COVID-19 and the flu. Spreading misinformation because I cried foul when I received a memorandum from the Department of Health on April 3rd, which directed me to a CDC link, which says clearly, that you could have a patient suffering from other medical problems a wheelchair bound severe stroke within the preceding year or two no COVID-19 test ever done or ordered and when that patient dies of pneumonia it's a COVID-19 death I cried foul and I'm grateful that the Department of Health a week later, try to clarify things, and a month later, clarify it further. But I'll say it again. The official people who write the coding Bible in this country said, if the provider documents suspected, possible, probable, or inconclusive, do not assign COVID-19. Can you see that? Can you see that? Hmm. All right, let me take you to the uh, the chat icon. This is the chat icon. At first, you will only be able to chat with your sponsor. For the moment you sign up your friends, you will be able to chat with them too. Every other one else is as a result of uh, reaching out with contact requests. Before you know it, you will have a long list of people to chat with. As you can see here, let me show you. Just say, okay. I say no to love is the right place to be. Please tell us. right then send this is how simple it is to chat on this platform so this social media platform this new social media platform started at the beginning of july 2020 we are off to a fast start and are gathering humanity and getting this important message out to all of them. 
before it's too late. We are fighting for the survival of our species as human beings. Each of us are beautiful in our own unique way, and we should keep it that way. We don't need to connect with We don't need to connect with the hive mind of AI, artificial intelligence. That's how we would lose our humanity. So be sure to take three minutes to change the world by signing up two of your friends. Duplicating that will change the whole world for the better. Encourage them to attend this training once they have signed up. And that will help us to grow much faster thank you for listening let's start the q a session right away all right so let me log out here remember i promise you that at the end of this training you will sing a new song sure Ah. <sighs> 